And now, Tim Dillon is going to hell! Thank you guys. Thanks for coming out. There's <laughs> Tim forgot to order chairs yeah. for his podcast. I panicked. I looked at her. I'm like, are there no chairs? Tim, <laughs> I'm a professional broadcaster. <laughs> I must have a chair. Yeah. I mean, and look at what a nice chair they got uh, yeah, for us. Good. Yeah, they spared no expense. Uh, Thanks, guys, for coming out. We were worried that the venue wouldn't have huge windows with a lot of light. Uh, Good, it did. Peering in, but <laughs> thank God. So if this is your first AA meeting, uh, welcome. <laughs> um, Tim and I both have been sober for over six hours now. Yes. And we're excited to bring yeah. you here. To spread the word of positivity. Yes. Uh, this is a cool, what do you think about Austin? Ron. What do I think about Austin? What do you think? Let's well, I, get controversial right up front. I, I'm going to go this far. It's a city in Texas. Is that yeah. what we're looking for? I got to be honest. Yeah. I concur. Yeah. All right, what do you? It's weird to me. I don't. I, it's 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 a place you don't get. Well, I don't normally. Uh, most places I go, there's not scooters on the sidewalk. Right. That I'm fucking dodging. <laughs> what? What yeah. was the idea there? It's too safe to walk around here? You know, there's not enough minorities, so let's uh, do something yeah. ourselves. I will Scooters be honest. Scooters on the sidewalk. Not enough minorities, but some terrifying white people. You guys, yeah. you well, guys have done that. You have taken your white people and really... You run with it. Yeah. You spiced them up. Yeah. Uh, um, um, can I just say this? I don't think we need uh, camouflage inside city limits. Uh, it gives me... <laughs> It's a nerve-wracking feeling like there's some Mad Max thing that I don't understand that's going down at any second. Do I need camouflage? Yeah, it's like do, everybody's a doomsday prepper. And it's, right. it's weird because you'll walk around this place and you'll say to somebody, you'll be like, is that a homeless shelter? And they'll be like, no, it's the highest rated restaurant in the state. Right. This is this is the number one difference, right, from yeah. New York and Austin. Yeah, is our homeless people are sick and ill. Yes, not, not in incredibly great shape. Right, and able to chase you down the street right. looking for money. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't ever want to be outrun by a homeless person. <laughs> yeah, I want my homeless person to have a scary rash here, that I don't understand at all. Here they leap off the ground. Yes. Like I've seen two of them literally leap up off the ground. Yeah, in a maneuver that I could never <laughs> attempt. Well, that's because you didn't live the Matrix, and that's yeah, what that's, that's all about, true. Tim. <laughs> Let, you got Matrix homeless people here. They're just in fabulous. By the way, the will work for food sign. I just want to say, yes, that's the basic theory of all capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we're all doing, working for food. So, like, when we go on a job interview, we can't say, okay, you're not hiring me. Can you give me a few bucks? No, yeah. it doesn't work that way. No, it's, it's amazing to watch. Yeah. I also like... They don't have a lot of... Like, another thing, I was, I was here for South by Southwest a few years ago, and I was sick. And there's like New York, we have a drugstore. Every other storefront is a drugstore. Right. But here they don't have that here. Yeah. They have like apothecaries. They have like right. old 1950s style drug marts that close at 4 p.m. Yeah, and but, you can't get fucking Tylenol. Right. You have a guy actually grinding up the drugs. <laughs> yeah. You know, we, we have machines to do that. Yeah, now. with a mortar and pestle. Yeah. They have their own Uber service because I think is Uber's Uber's still banned in. at the airport Uber's here. Uber's in now, right? Is it still no yeah. good? You can't get an Uber at the airport. Look, oh, they're back. Okay, good. That it's, service you had didn't hold up. Yeah, that service of it was just like a witch would pull up with a van. Yeah, it was and, a wagon train more than a van. <laughs> Am I too much into the Western thing? Yeah. And by the way, is this the West or the South? You got to make up your mind. You can't have both. Yeah, what, that's a good I mean, point. By, by applause, how many people think this is the West? By applause. And how many people think they're in the South? South okay, is a clear winner. South, 
Clear winner. We're in the South, yeah. Congratulations. Clear winner. To the Confederacy. Yeah. Which got the silver medal. Not a lot of people bring that up. <laughs> but they sil they silvered in the Civil War. They did Congratulations, fine. Congratulations, guys. They did fine. They would have yeah. gotten endorsement deals, yeah. you know. Right. Um, that's absolutely. If take away nothing else from this podcast, that the Confederacy got the silver. That's yeah. what we want you guys to take away. I'm not a. I think barbecue, and a lot of people are going to get mad here because they base their identity on this. Sadly, yeah. Uh, tragically, I think barbecue is kind of overrated as a food. I do. Thanks, thanks, one brave person. Right. But I do. I mean, it's like it's eating a log. You you feel like shit. You sweat for the whole day. You're burping up mesquite. You you they give it to you on. You eat it on like the top of a garbage can lid. You eat it like a raccoon in an alley. You wait seven hours for a pit master. What that sounds terrifying. To pit carve master? up. Yeah, it's 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 very hostile. And then they give it to you, and then you just eat it crouched like by a garbage can in a field. And everybody's like, this is the best thing you'll ever have. It, you know it's, what? It's like, okay, yeah. maybe. You you just turned me vegan. It just yeah. happened. I never <laughs> thought I'd go that way. But yes. I'm just going to eat small salads now for the rest yeah. of my life. But I'm going to go back to doing Coke. So, yeah. you know what? You have, yes, yes. You're going to you get a little him. bit of both. Are you going to... You were a Florida guy. When you were in Florida... You know was, what? Here's yeah. what. I never... I moved to Florida. Yeah. But I'm, I grew up outside of Philadelphia. Okay. And I went to Florida. And, uh, you know, there's no laws there whatsoever. Yeah. Um, it's and, a wild yeah. place. No, no. I, I smoked meth with alligators. That's how fucking weird <laughs> Florida is. See, and that's it felt, a, take note, Austin. That's yeah. real cool, you know? Yeah. That's a real cool place. Where were you? were in, like, Tampa. Yeah, I was. My uh, drug dealer was uh, Dusty Rhodes. I mean, this is years ago. <laughs> Dusty was laying it all out on the line here. You better pay me back, brother. <laughs> I mean, you didn't fuck around with him. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Red turns to green. It's an old wrestling thing. I think there's some wrestling folks that know this. But uh, there they go. There they there are. There they are. Yeah. It's the Von Erich family came back to life after all these years. <laughs> the Von Erich family was the royalty of Texas wrestling. Yeah. And then uh, Vince uh, took them in and named them the Texas Tornado and then killed him. I saw, well, I saw him yeah. when I was a little kid. I saw him in Madison Square Garden in, his la in one of his last uh, matches before he died. Yeah. Well, that's exciting stuff, Tim. Is yeah. that, uh... This is... <laughs> <laughs> That was, that, was a my, that was my contribution. Connection. Yeah. He personal. died of it. What did he die? Heroin overdose. No, 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 no. How did he die? Uh, old age. Uh, in the wrestling business, people just die, Tim. He, they don't live past 38. 38. <laughs> that was it. Is the retirement age for wrestling. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. Are you still into it? Because a lot of a lot of people are still into it. No, I'm a, I'm an adult male. Yeah. So. <laughs> I so can't. You're gonna get mad. They're gonna get mad. You're gonna lose them. Are you? Do you care? Like Wait, you just ran down fucking barbecue yeah. in Texas, and then you're like me, easy, easy on the wrestling. We don't want to fucking lose these. They AC's. love. They love their smoked yeah. meat. Yeah, and they love their. Ra do you care about any? Because I don't care about any of it. Like that new movie Endgame coming out. Do you care about that? The, the movie Endgame. What is this? The about? Avengers. What, the new oh, Avengers. That, book? Yeah, I do care. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> quite a bit. I really. <laughs> I, here's, here's what happened is because people are like, well, hey, why do people go to these movies? Well, because men wear backpacks now. Right. They just gave up growing up. They're yeah. just like, fuck growing up. I'm staying a child. I guess I have a feeling that a lot of these people keep like a little tent in their bedroom. Yeah. So when their friends sleep over, <laughs> they have a place to go together. It's crazy how many friends I have that uh, are in their mid-30s. Uh -huh. And they have they get in fights about these movies like arguments, uh, vicious. Who are we talking about? Mike Vecchione, Dan yeah, Soder. Yeah. Which one yeah, of these those, fucking men? They're the ones child. that are doing good. Those yeah. are the successful yeah, ones. Those are the good That's ones. That's the tragedy yeah. of it. Dan's on three TV shows and yeah. he still cares. And then he gets home at night and him and yeah. Vecchione put fucking mattresses down on yeah. the floor Every, and drop take out elbows. Wrestling buddies. <laughs> and they're going oh oh. <laughs> 
seriously. It's you know. lost something now, though. I mean, it was cool when you were into it. It was cool. You Thank know? you very much. Because you were on meth. Yes. Yeah. And it was me and Bruno San Martino, the yeah. two of us together. And you had a you opened a comedy club <laughs> in Tampa. <laughs> What is this, Ron this Bennington? Is, this is your this life. This is this is you're unmasked. I'm unmasking <laughs> you now. This is so, it. I've done my research. I went on a Wikipedia page right. five minutes ago, <laughs> and I read three things that I'm prepared to discuss. Yeah. Um, but it was it's crazy that you you had a comedy club and comedy was cool. Right. It's people, not cool anymore. Well, I mean, it's cool, but it's nobody's on drugs. Nobody's dying. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you, yeah, that's right. Like you, that's you, right. you were in it when it was people were doing blow. You were laundering money, probably not you personally, but a lot of the other places. I'm still laundering money. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm right now. Me and Aunt Becky are just yeah. fucking. <laughs> By the way, how many people want to see Aunt Becky go to jail? By applause. By applause. One guy. One guy One is guy. like, yes. Why, sir? Why would you want that? Justice. Yes. Real Texas justice. Yeah. That's what we're after here. <laughs> Just, uh, would you like to see her fry? Where would it end? Would, it, would death penalty be too much? Prison, Prison tax. tax. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing her get, get you know, Rape? thugged up. Okay. You know, uh, today in Texas, they actually executed a person uh, for a crime that took place 21 years ago. Is that true? 21 years ago, he, uh, it was a racial murder. And now, like, 21 years later, he's like, I think that was me. I'm not sure. I can't. It was a long time ago. I'm That's a crazy... fucking different now. How do they do it? Are you doing an injection now, or just, do you still have the chair? It's a headlock. They put the person yeah. in a headlock, <laughs> and they just squeeze they and squeeze them. and squeeze till they're dead. Now, you were asking me about my comedy club that yeah. I had in Florida doing this unbelievable unmask. Excuse me, I'm gonna. Cry. I want you guys to leave I'm with a real to sob a little bit. Yeah, I want you yeah. guys to leave with a real, you know, taste, real taste of what right. it's what it's about. Dude, I've changed my name three times. No <laughs> one's gonna ever fucking know who I am. I don't know who I am anymore. You know, these aren't my fingerprints. I had to keep moving. Yeah. You know, that's like Florida. You just yeah. keep. I have a cousin who lives in Florida. She moves to a different town in Florida every six months. Yes. And it's always a town that sounds a lot nicer than what it is. Right. It's always like Crystal River or. Sandy yeah. Springs, and if you go there, you're like, oh, oh, oh <laughs> right. this is not that. The it's real name real... would be the real name would be Trailer Park Junction. Yeah, watch out, everyone here has a knife. Yeah, she said to me once. She was living in Delray Beach, and she said to me, we had lunch at a Chili's, and she said, you know, I love you and I love the family, but I just I love heroin, and yeah, <laughs> I was like, that is, but, yeah. Where do you go from there? I'm but like, all he, right, I get it. Here's the thing. Just before you mock it, do it. Because I'll tell you right yeah. now, it's a great feeling. Yeah, especially um, if you're in Florida. There's no reason yeah. not to. Right. It cuts through the humidity. Yeah, and it's... I remember yeah. thinking... I remember thinking on heroin, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's the spine that fucks everything up. This is so much better. Now... The young people, and I know you guys do different kind of opiates and you're doing this thing now. A little tip for you, because everyone in history has done morphine, but you're the only generation that dies. It's a great so, point. Yeah, it's here's a great the tip, point. right? Stay the fuck awake. That's it. That's the end yeah. of it. No Stay. one who's awake dies. It's the lazy fucker who just drifts off and forgets to breathe. Stay awake. And I, I wish I could go into schools and teach that. I think you can. I well, think that I, can be arranged. There's some stupid rule they have about keeping me, I think, 70 yards away yeah. from every, any school. That's fascism, is what yes. that is. I think it's that's fascism, That's exactly to be what that is. Thanks, Hillary. Yeah. You're I welcome. I think it's Hillary, this president, isn't yeah, it? I, I don't know. I don't have cable. They I haven't heard cable. much about the president. No. When you, when you, you've been doing your radio show for a crazy amount of time. I talked to you the other day. You said, make a wish kids would come in for the, to do the show. And yeah. then you'd realize that it clearly had nothing to do with them. It no, was there. We would get a thing that says the make a wish kid wants to come in <laughs> on, um, a titty bar Thursday. Oh, I forgot to say I was into, I was a shock jock. I was a shock jock. And, uh, we would say, oh yeah, sure. Bring the kids in. And now it would be their dad. That would really, and I'm going to be honest about this. It was their weekend dad. 
It wasn't a dad who stayed with the family. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I just married... a guy that saw an opportunity. Yeah, I mean, the weekend dad, the divorced dad, is he really the dad? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I would have gotten divorced, but I like to keep my weekends free, Tim. I don't want to. I don't want to go to miniature golf, and I don't want to find out what you want to do this weekend, Scooter. You yeah. know what I mean? I was like, no, I stayed with your mom. Mow the lawn, dude. That's yeah. the fucking difference between me and your friends' dads. <laughs> I'm in it, long haul. Were there any, were there any Make-A-Wish dads that you thought were cool dudes when they came in? Like, no, no, they were Floridians. Yeah. There was, uh, every, all of them were bad? Dude, every li we had a, a giant show down in Florida, and every listener I had had eight or nine fingers. They were always, really? yeah. You would shake a listener's hand and just jolt back. <laughs> You know what I mean? Just every time. Just strange lizard hands. Yes, it's a weird thing that happens yeah. that people that were born and raised in Florida lose at least one digit. How? You know, Do they even know how? No, no, no. They just wake up and a finger is yeah, gone. It's Tim, gone. Probably black market. Yeah. And I'll say this. You've gotten more out of me than anyone has. Yeah. Can I just... <laughs> Tim Dillon, It's a everybody. skill. Tim it's a real Dillon. skill. He's the rising star in comedy right now. Everybody yeah, loves him. Two more years to live. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, it's going to be a rise I, yeah. and a fall. And by the way, I think you're two years past due. So I this agree. is amazing. I agree. You're fucking Well, you would know. Him. You are my biological father. Yes. I was going to wait till the end to you bring know, that out. Just because I had sex with your mom doesn't make me your father, That's Tim. true. She was in Florida. She's yes, a Florida she woman. She was in Florida. She and I a... can tell you for a fact it was yeah. anal. Yeah. And... I, I hope guess, so. Yeah. I hope and pray. Right. And by the way, I was the one getting it. That's how fucking, yeah. that's how wild me and Tim's She was pegging were. Ron Bennington. Yes. That is something that I will yeah. always remember. Yeah. That's why I got into this business. <laughs> My mother said I pegged a great broadcaster. And you so <laughs> She remembers me that way. That's wonderful. Yeah. She's a great yeah. She was in Florida. She was a mermaid in Florida in the Wiki Wiki Watch. Wiki Yeah. Is that was, right? Yeah, legit, she was. Yeah. She was real trash. This is not... No. Uh, she was legitimate. And truckers would go and watch these mermaids and, like, jerk off to them before strip clubs opened. Right. In, like, the late afternoon, early, you know, and then she would just swim around in the tank. And that was what she did until my grandmother went down, saw her doing this, and was like, good God, what are you doing? You are disgracing everybody. Oh, you're going to be kidding. Look, yeah. look those wiki watchy mermaids are fucking royalty down there. They're kind of the Kennedys of yeah of Florida but what there would there would be like a vine right and there yeah. was it was an air hose in the vine and they would reach over suck on the air hose and go back to fucking dance yeah. I mean it was amazing I you know jizz quick so I didn't see the whole show <laughs> but you know every once it was one, the nutcracker yeah, for meth heads exactly. that were it was, people every smoking once meth in a parking lot loved it every once in a while the mermaid would just pop a tit and everybody would go crazy <laughs> But that was, did you, are you making this up? No, you that know? was legit what she did. That was her job. Holy shit. That was her job. Yeah. yeah. Now, for a few years. Yeah. And that Wiki Wachi is also where Sea Hunt was filmed back in the 1960s. What is Sea Hunt? Sea Hunt uh, was a big. Uh, this guy TV knows. Show. This guy knows Sea Hunt. What was the star this of Sea Hunt's name? Lloyd Bridges. This is the Bridges brothers' yeah. dad, right? And he was a guy who was a scuba diver. But he would solve underwater crimes. And this is an amazing, <laughs> it was an amazing TV show because every week somebody would cut his air hose. It was like, watch that fucker, he's gonna cut your air hose. And then he did it. <laughs> and they also uh, did the, the Tarzan movies at the same place. But when the movie companies left, they just let the monkeys loose. What, and there's, uh, what I'm still stuck on underwater crime. Well, like, there's what, underwater crime. What could possibly take place underwater like some, of a criminal nature? Yeah. Well, like somebody some could, guy cutting a boat line? Or? Yeah, there could be that kind of thing. Somebody yeah. could be stealing underwater treasures. Sure. You know, I mean it was an exciting okay. it was an exciting show and oddly canceled mid-episode. Yeah. <laughs> 
But you know, life, you know, it was MAGA. I mean, let the, those were the days. That's what people loved, you know? Yeah. That's what we're trying to get back to now. Yes. Uh, that is Trump, the greatness. We're trying to see if we can right. recapture. Trump wants to take us back to Sea Hunt and Flipper, which was a dolphin. MacGyver. MacGyver came yeah. later. Yeah, MacGyver came later, but uh, uh, Flipper was a dolphin that s solved crimes. And yeah. then these are all Florida shows. And then Gentle Ben was a bear that solved crimes in the Everglades. And Wait a minute, Gentle what, Ben? Yeah, Gentle Ben. That was his. It was Ronnie Howard's little brother. Was the uh, star of the show? Maybe the ugliest baby that ever lived. I mean, just scary, <laughs> scary fucking. But every week, this bear in the Everglades would just fucking raise up on somebody. They would fall backwards, and that would be the end of the episode. That was the yeah. whole thing? Yeah, it was the whole thing. So, I mean, Florida brought a lot of arts to this country, and we appreciate it. Yeah, and I'm trying to think what they've done recently. I don't think they, they have anything recently. I don't think there's a new no. Florida show in a no. while that no. I know of. No, well, normally what you have is bath salts pretty much ruin the arts. Yeah, you have like a guy ate another guy's face. Those are the best um, headlines. Florida man. The, well, the, well, also the bath salt headlines are always yeah. like, "Woman chokes pit bull." Right. You know, it's, it's right. It's always very. It's a great visual on whatever. All right, everybody. This is uh, Tim Dillon here. I know this episode is a little old. The great Ron Bennington at Moon Tower. I know maybe some of you are aware of the uh, Milo Gate. Milo Yiannopoulos, invited by the Legion of Skanks, the most offensive podcast on earth, to be a guest on their show at the Creek in the Cave in Long Island City. And we had many, many open mic comedians uh, between the ages of 40 and 50 whose careers have not gone exactly the way they planned, getting very angry at uh, Luis Gomez and others, and then tweeting and yelling and screaming and threatening to beat people up and put on our stomping boots and we're going to go down there and fuck them up. And I will say this. It would be hilarious to see Lewis get attacked by two fat lesbians with green hair. If Ralph got hit with a bike lock, come on. If Dave Smith fought a tranny outside of the creek with nunchucks, you're telling me you couldn't laugh at that? But... Sadly, we will not see that. None of that will materialize because it is uh, being moved to an undisclosed location because people cannot handle uh, uh, a guy who I think is a clown and has said some ridiculous things, but they can't handle him sitting in the downstairs at a Mexican restaurant for an hour with Legion of Skanks. Last year, Emilio Yiannopoulos was on Bill Maher's show. He thought he was going to be doing Radio City. He's at the Creek in the Cape. That is the punishment, by the way. The punishment is to have him sit there and say, this is where it's at, okay? Um, so that's the reality. That's my little take on things. If you are angry about somebody sitting down and being interviewed on a podcast in a Mexican restaurant, you are an irredeemable loser. There's nothing that can be done really to help you. And I know that, and, and listen, there are people that I respect as comedians that I think are funny, that take a different viewpoint as me. Are, and are they irredeemable losers? Yeah, probably. Probably. If you cannot, if you're afraid, you do not vanquish people's ideas by vanquishing people. If you don't agree with somebody, you debate them. You give them the opportunity to hang themselves. You show that your ideas are better. Because the only thing that after that, the only thing that's left is violence and fighting, which again could have been fun and funny, but won't happen now. But. I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. I'm actually just a talker. But if you wanted to be a lover, you should take Blue Chew. Many of you are running around. Your dicks don't work. I try to fuck 19-year-olds all the time. They've been on medication since they're children for anxiety, for depression. Their dicks aren't hard. They get halfies. They rub their dick against you. They just want to cuddle. They're so broken as people. Their spirits have been trampled. They can barely take lights and sensory motion going on. They just lay there like Adderall puppies. So they need a little boost. And the boost is blue 
Chew. If you go to BlueChew.com, you can get the first chewables with the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Chewables can work faster than pills, up to twice as fast, okay? Less hearing me talk in that case. The chewables from Bluetooth can be taken on a full or an empty stomach. You go online, a consultation with a physician is free. It is cheaper than the other two. It only takes a few minutes to connect with a Bluetooth affiliated physician. Are they real doctors? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Yes, probably they are. The point is this. There's no in-person doctor visit. You don't have to see a fancy doctor with a degree hanging on his wall. You get to speak to a Russian bot who will say that you need this medication and then give it to you. These tubules from Blue 2 are prescribed online by a doctor, in quotes. Blue 2 gives you confidence every time in bed. You and your partner are going to love it. I'm telling you, especially if you're on 90 medications just to function, the dick doesn't work. It's very, very tough to get a real hard dick when you're older and you know the terror of what life really is because you're riddled with anxiety. Who knows? So a great deal for you. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first order free when you use promo code TD. Just pay $5 shipping. That's blue com promo code TD. blue com promo code TD. First $5 shipping, first order free. Bam! There was a Florida story the other day that I just loved that a bird kicked a man to death. He was raising some gi giant emu tri type bird and he made the mistake of falling down. And the bird ran at him. He had these big razor claws and, just, and kicked him till he just was dead. kicked him to death. Yeah. And that guy was the governor of Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Texas is so glad there's a Florida. Yeah. That's so just true. Fucking takes the heat off of everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, are you drinking the rainwater that they're it's giving great. you? It's great. No, I yeah. love it. I, I had a little bit upstairs. I don't want to get too drunk <laughs> on you know the natural world uh, right. at this point in the day. But f one of the things I love about Florida is people. I was at a Denny's there, and this was about four months ago, and the f Denny's now has food that doesn't even make sense. Like it doesn't even sound good, mm -hmm. uh, but it should. Like they have. Salted caramel banana cream pancake. Like, nobody even would ever want this. And people in Florida will go and house a serving of that and then do a Marlboro Red 100 right outside. Yeah. And there's something so beautiful about watching somebody do a 100, not even a regular cigarette. Yeah. Which takes a while. 100 takes three minutes to smoke and to just stand there and really go for it. Well, you know, I mean, it's still recent. You recently, you could still smoke in the restaurant yeah. during the meal, and um, you know, that was the, an amazing time. Yeah, those times are gone. Thanks, Obama. Yeah. You said in your comedy club there was so much smoke you would see somebody on stage who would have smoke coming out of his mouth, but he wasn't even smoking. Yes, my comics would be breathing in so much <laughs> cigarette and cigar smoke that they would be huffing it back out during the show. Yeah. And, you know, we refused to like have ventilation. Big, yeah, like a big vape. They were yeah. just one whole vape. But yeah. that's okay, because secondhand smoke is bullshit. I mean, this is true. I agree with you 100%. Fuck you, Austin. It's yeah. true, okay? Relax. Nobody's been... videoing this. They're going to fucking replay it later and get yeah. you in trouble at your shitty job. Right. It's human resource at the WeWork next door. WeWork. You know what? You don't. I hate WeWork. You don't That's like my beef, we, yes. is WeWork. It's just that, rich kids who go to Coachella and they're all coked out and their father's like, let me get you an office. You've got 32,000 Instagram followers. Let's have an office, you know? Yeah. Figure out something. You should have a stapler. It'll turn it all around. I hate WeWork. Fuck you if you work at WeWork. I tweet ISIS locations of WeWork all day. And I'm like, you should see what they're doing to the profit at this WeWork on Congress. They are really disrespecting the prophet and nothing. I think this ISIS thing kind of overblown, uh, to be honest. Uh, all day, I hate WeWork. I hate it. All I'll right. just say this, Tim. You weren't made for these times. No. This is no. not... This I is... was made for Tampa. That's why I keep fucking... <laughs> yeah. That's why I keep asking about Florida. Yeah. You were bowling up there. These are the kind of sports I like. Bowling, yeah. billiards. You know what? There's a little... I, I just bowled a 229. I couldn't believe it before yeah. I came down. I haven't picked up a ball. Thank you very much, yeah. natural athlete. Yeah. You know, I met <laughs> I met a young lady outside who told me that she, when she was 17, she came to one of my uh, shock jock shows 
Where are you, darling? I can't, uh, I can't see in this light. She's still alive? You there she in, is. There, oh, there you are. Back here. She was 17 doing, I think, was that the Let the Puppies Breathe tour that we were doing? Wait, what? Yeah, Wait, yeah, what? Yeah. Yes. This was the actual thing that you know, the, the women had to show their tits to get in. I, I should also remark, this was before the Me Too movement, <laughs> when we just called it the This Is Normal. Yeah. Um, but it was a celebration of right. women's bodies and independence. Yes. Yeah. And also, I only have one line left, so you're doing it off my dick. Yeah. That was, uh, and that is fair. Yeah. That is fair. That people, is fair. People always ask how you yeah. meet girls. That was my way. Yeah. <laughs> I've got um, one line left. Yeah. You're doing it off my dick. Yeah. That's great. And uh, That's don't... a t-shirt that would sell out <laughs> in Tampa in three minutes. Right. You know, I, uh, I had a, a, a titty bar, too. Uh, you know, I was kind of the Shark Tank guy of Tampa. Yeah. <laughs> you but, had all their needs covered. Right. But I had a titty bar called the Third Trimester. And... Um, it's, it, was, it specialized. I'm not one of these people who gets turned off by a woman's body. You know what I mean? I right. find, find the whole thing to be beautiful. Yeah. But uh, uh, a, a girl was dancing on stage at my club, and her water broke. And I said, look, we got nobody else. Just stay in yeah. until uh, Mercedes can get here. Mercedes stage name. Stage name. Yeah. Not the real name. And she just continued dancing. She kept dancing yeah. until, uh, you know, luckily we had a girl. So Probably second. my mother. Yeah. <laughs> my mother took her fin off watch. and got on stage and started, started showing her tits. <laughs> we love you, Mom. Was your mom a mermaid or a shark if she was, had a fin? Yeah, a scary I don't know. Thing. Well, the mermaids have fins too, don't they? I don't think. I think they just have the tail. Oh, I always considered that a fin. We've, uh, in the last couple moments, I think it was the third trimester talk. I believe we lost this audience. Yeah, they're gone. The... They literally mentally left. They're actually... They mentally left. Yeah, they're army crawling their way yeah, back into the here. street. They're gone. Yeah. They're back there at a vegan taco shop up the streets listening I, to poetry. Yeah, I got news for you, Tim. I thought this was going to do go a lot better. Yeah, I agree. And I think these people are very tough. They're very hard. You know what happened? It's this third person that they set the mic yeah. up for. Kevin Hart doesn't show up. This guy doesn't come, doesn't call, nothing, no email from but this guy. This is this was my... I always I put out a, an extra mic for Nipsey to, Hussle. Yeah. And I go, you know yeah. what, brother? So we're never gonna forget you. Yeah, pour out, pour out some spring water for <laughs> Nipsey this Hustle. Isn't, this isn't spring; it's rain. Yeah, rain. Uh, they leave it's these the... cups outside, <laughs> bring them in. It's as good as yeah. any water. <laughs> yeah. well, why the extra mic? Was I don't there... know. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. It's 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 probably a venue decision that I didn't question. <laughs> I mean, when we walked on stage, remember we had no chairs. No, we had no chairs. We had no chairs. And I so... been, and I, I saw the thing, and I go, "Oh, is he doing that Dick Ventriloquism bit yes. that he used to do?" That's what I'm gonna Back do. Back from open mic nights. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna slide over here, yeah. do a voice, slide yeah. back, do a voice. Um, who is the person that you have had call into your show the most over the years where you think about them at night and you're like, fucking, oh my God. That person, like what person are you just completely like? Is there one person where you're like, Christ, where is that person? Or do you know because they still keep calling? Uh, uh, there was uh, a guy who, he was a crank caller and he uh, crank called me on the night of 9-11. No! It is the worst The fucking... night before it or the night no, of No, the it? night of. Jeez. As we're going through, people are looking, you know, because we were on local New York radio and people were looking hey, for their relatives and stuff. And he fucking crank called that <laughs> night. So I had never met him before. His name is the Radio Shark. He's a, yeah. <laughs> He's a complete fucking degenerate. I mean, he's really, he's like a, uh, one of the worst people ever. So I fucking, I was like so, you know, I just yelled at him and shit. I'd never met him before. Do you remember the prank? Do you remember what? what no, he... I, I really can't. Yeah. But, he, but we left. Me and Fez were on the air. And matter of fact, Gail was a little girl and she was on just sitting in with us because I couldn't get 
her back home. I, I was running around grabbing my kids at school. And with her, you know, uh, the trains, they shut the trains down. Yeah. So I just brought her to work with me. So we go to leave that night. And there was a guy, after I had yelled, because I was like, come down here. And I, you know, I was like, you know, radio tough. What I like to call radio tough. <laughs> and I come outside, and there was a guy that was like six foot four, just a big, beefy guy, big. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm going to have to fight this fucking guy. On 9-11. On on yeah, 9-11. <laughs> you imagine the cops responding yeah. to that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea what's going on. A radio shock jock's beating the shit out of somebody. <laughs> no, I was going to lose this fight. Yeah. But my thing was, I was going to go right for his knee. I was just going to slam his knee, break his knee, and then run. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, again, Florida, training, it's yeah. unbelievable. Florida was our Vietnam. I yeah. think people in America should remember that. Uh, but here it wasn't him, and it was just a big guy who was looking for someone to connect to. And he said to me that he was as scared as a little kid. Because oh. I'm as scared as a little kid now. And I said, well, the word is gay. That's what yeah. I said to him. No, I didn't. Yeah. Well, I didn't say that because you yeah. can't anymore. <laughs> yeah. And here's the thing. I was yeah. the first woke person in America. I was the first uh, woke yeah, white guy. On 9-11. You were yeah, the guy. You changed. 9-11 yeah. changed you. Well, it made a lot of people mad at Arabs, not you. It yeah. made you woke. Well, I don't think it was all Arabs, was it? Uh, how did it work out there? I know you're struggling with this. Yeah, I, I, yeah. No, I don't know. It was probably some Jews, too, I would guess. I mean, from yeah. the YouTubes that I've watched. Right. Late at night. One of them looked like Voss. Yeah. If I'm going to be totally it honest. It was probably Rich Voss, if, yeah. if we're honest, if we're going to be really honest. When people are like, oh, you know, uh, you know, you should like Jews, I go, all right, I want you to meet a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and his name he's is He's the Rich. least Jewish guy, though. Like, he's... He really? Smoked, because Well, he's Jewish, but he's like, no, I've never met another Jewish guy who, like, smoked crack for years. Dude, he's put up in this beautiful hotel, and I just saw him screaming at a desk clerk today. Because there's no free breakfast. Yeah. He's got a point. He's yeah. got a pretty <laughs> fucking solid point. Fuck you, Aloft. No, he's a gross... Aloft hotel. Oh, yeah. he's in a nice... He's at the yeah, Intercontinental? He's nice, yeah, he's at the Intercontinental. Where are you? Are you at a... Uh... Yeah, I'm at the Aloft, like yeah. fucking like a scumbag. Yeah, Aloft is a... No, that's no, a real Coke a hotel. Yeah. The Aloft room shouldn't be seen before 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Like, you look at those rooms, you're like, oh, I should be looking at this on Molly at 2.30 right. in the morning. There's just, uh, at the loft, there's a mirror that's down and a razor there, just in case. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> you ever do, you did yeah. coke, right? Yeah, for a you while, ever, yeah. You ever do the thing where you're just chopping and you look down in the mirror and you see yourself? Yeah. Like, Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, just one I more. would do it off a Gin Blossom CD case. Oh, God. Sorry, I was a yeah. professional. Yeah. You know? Gin Blossom CD case. Do you, ever, do you ever do this? You ever go on like a long run and you're fucking just fucking whacked out and the sun has already come out by the time you're driving home and you know how last night's clothes just feel dirty all of a sudden? Yeah. And you stopped at a red light and you just see a bunch of kids getting ready to get on a school bus. Yeah, and you and kidnap one of them. No, yeah. no. Absolutely. No, Tim. Absolutely. No, Tim. Absolutely. The good old days. Yeah. Are you ever uh, planning on being a father? Is that uh, no, something? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, it would have to. It'd have to be a real reason. Like there'd have to be a show or something. A where, show. Like a reality show where they oh, were okay. like, "Oh, you have an Asian kid, and the kid's teaching me stuff." And Dude, you can't afford funny. an Asian kid. You're yeah, gonna. That's a good point. I yeah. can afford a Florida kid. I will only <laughs> be a father if I can adopt a, a Floridian. Yeah. Just a Tampa kid. Yeah. Just a white trash kid, 11 years old, smokes cigarettes already. Those kids are great. Yeah. You know, those you kids know? are great. They're selling Nicotine oranges. Nicotine stained fingers. Yeah. Selling, yeah, dumping paprika on oranges. Yeah. I don't know why, but. I always say, I, I always never say, understood yeah. that, yeah, why no. they did that, why but they it's dumped delicious. spice on mangoes. But the thing is this I respect okay. Ocasio Cortez and her people. AOC, I read That's about her right. every they fucking love her here. day. If she was yeah. outside, they would break their necks trying to get selfies with her. This whole fucking city would grind to a halt trying to get selfies with AOC. <laughs> it would be Dude, a fucking 
Why do you waste your time doing anything but Fox News? They would yeah, fucking I love agree. you. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, they, they would the, love you. Uh, we did. Well, they canceled the show that we were all on called Red Eye at 3 a.m., yeah. which was a great show. And you see two, two degenerate white supremacists are in the crowd who watched it. And, <laughs> and it was fun because it was fun. It came on at 3 a.m. So if you were watching that, you had real problems. Uh, yeah. And, you know, me and Bonnie McFarlane would go on and pretend we knew about the news and people right. would be... You know, coming down from a meth binge, working in a factory, looking at me and Bonnie, like, well, those guys will figure it out. Yeah, what, what was? And that the... got canceled. Sadly, yeah. they canceled that show. Hard to believe. It's shocking. It's a time of the night there were no ratings, so how would anyone <laughs> yeah. know? You know, what I mean, they they turn off the machines that time of night. Yeah, I know. I just think they just said we could make more money with an infomercial, and they just played the infomercial. You know? Yeah. Yeah, but. That... You know, that one of those infomercials is where I got my legs, so God bless him for yeah. it. Red Eye was a, a good show because every now and then you'd be in a green room with people that you shouldn't be near. Like, I, Megan, I would, and they'd give you, like, free brownies, and I would eat, like, half of a brownie and leave it in the makeup chair, and then Megan Kelly would be like, whose brownie is this? And I'd have to go, oh, that's mine, and she'd go, can you come take it? And I'd have to go <laughs> in and take the brownie covered in saliva <laughs> off the makeup station yeah. and sit there. And uh, <laughs> and then we'd go on TV with like the National Security Advisor. <laughs> and they'd be like, what's your plan for Syria? And I'm like, well, let me tell you. Right. And then if you put, and then you would be with all these women who were like Miss Tallahassee and they'd all be right. nice in the green room. They'd all be like, you know, I'm, I love pageants and my parents were independent. And then they would they'd turn on the cameras and they'd be like, Hillary's a devil. She yeah. eats kids and she rapes. And you'd be like, whoa, whoa. Rain it in. I don't know. I, yeah, I, it was I a great show. Guys, yeah, I think you guys were onto something. Yeah, I agree. I think it was fun. Yeah. Folks, how many times do I have to tell you to come see me live? I mean, how many times everyone who comes to see me live has a great, time it's a good event it's a fun experience okay it gets you out of your home away from your wife and children and family or maybe you can bring them i don't care but it just it breaks up the routine it's a nice thing to do when i come through your town treat it like an event treat it like a special thing here comes this con man here comes this grifter let him sling his jokes here comes this guy selling an elixir that will cure all of our, e our ailments. That's who I am. I'm just a grifter. I'm just a depression era uh, tent, circus, carnival salesman. That's all I am. All I am, and I'm very happy being that. All I am is the ringmaster of the circus. I'm coming through your town. We're pitching the tent. We're bringing in the bearded lady. We're bringing in the baby in the jar. We're bringing in the half guy, half snake. Okay. All of those things, all of those people, me. So make sure you get out and you come. If you want to see where I'm performing, you can go to Tim Dillon's going to hell.com. Tim, T I M, Dillon, D I L L O N S, going to hell.com. There is no is in this site. And I want you to look at this site because I made it using Wix. Wix is so fucking easy. Okay, if you need a website and you do, you can choose from either 500 stunning templates or start from scratch. They have a very innovative drag and drop website builder, so you can easily customize your site. You could add text, images, videos, whatever you want. You can even use their Wix ADI, which is literally fucking futuristic, wild stuff. You answer a few questions about what your website should be, and they're going to give you some options. I'm telling you, this is how to do it. If you want 10% off any of their premium plans, you have to go to Tim Dillon's, D-I-L-L-O-N-S, going to hell.com. See where I'm performing. I'm going to be at Mohegan Sun in June. I'm going to be all over the place. I'm going to be at American Comedy Company in San Diego in early August. The first through the third in San Diego. Get your asses there. In July 4th, I think I'm going to be down in Key West, Florida, or in Miami. We're still firming that up. We're not sure. But you need a website. So many people I talk to think that everything is social media. So much is social media, but you need a website. You do need a website. Everybody that's important has a website. Kylie Jenner has a web, maybe not a Wix website, doesn't matter. You're not Kylie Jenner. You start with Wix. You start with a cheap, functional, very professional-looking alternative. You want to be Kylie Jenner. You got to be on top of your shit. You have to be. You need a website. You need your content out there in, in one place so that people can go, what's this guy about? 
You need fans from all across the spectrum. There's going to be boomers that are going to be your fans. Boomers, the people who raped this country, took all the money, took all the drugs, destroyed our credit rating, destroyed our credibility in the world. These people, they're happy and fat and drunk all the time, playing golf on cheap, borrowed credit. They've ruined this country. They've hollowed it out from the inside. They were given everything and did nothing with it, but you need them as fans. And many of them love a website. They love the comfort of a website. They like to go to a place that has all of your links. They're not on Twitch. The boomers aren't on TikTok. The boomers are at home drinking sangria. They've barricaded themselves in the bathroom because their son is trying to get in there and steal the rest of their back medication, which is their fault because they didn't accept him because he was gay. But while they're in that bathroom calling the police, they're on a website trying to find someone that they like and want to follow. They're not on these new fangled apps that everybody knows. Not watching. So you got to connect with the boomers. They're out there. They're going to retire soon. They're going to just be annoying in 55 and over communities and nursing homes, shitting on the floor, watching Fox News and screaming. But they will pay for your podcast if you can find them. And they got to find you. And they're going to find you on a website. They're not going to find you necessarily on Twitter. They don't like Twitter. It moves too fast. They like a nice website. They like Facebook. They love Facebook. All Facebook is now is knee operations and dead dogs, just dog carcasses, people eulogizing their dogs. This is what it is. Go fund me's and pictures of people's grandfather who served in the Civil War. They, they're old people. They love Facebook because it's a website. So if you want to reach them and they're a huge demographic and they're underserved, by current cultural commentary. Not really. But I'm saying if you want to connect with them, if you have a product that will connect with them, okay, like racism or something they'll really get on, get into, you got to get a website, folks. You do. So if you go to Tim Dillon's, D-I-L-L-O-N's, goingtohell.com and click the link at the bottom, we will give you 10% off any premium plan. Be smart. Also, I've said, and I have already some people note, noted that have done this, you'll get three minutes on the show. If you do this and you prove to me that you've done it, you get three minutes on this show to promote whatever you're doing. We have an audience of tens of thousands of people. Whatever you're doing, you can promote it on this show, whether it's a business, whatever. You get three minutes and maybe longer if we like you, minimum three minutes uninterrupted to promote what you're doing on the show, and then we will ask you follow-up questions. And that is if you can prove to me you went to Tim Dillon's, D-I-L-L-O-N-S, goingtohell.com, scroll down to the bottom, chose a premium plan, okay, got 10% off. If you prove to me that you, you did it through my website or you upgrade your current Wix site through my website, I will give you three minutes on this show to promote whatever you're doing. And now back to the legend, the GOAT, Ron Bennington. Now, do you vote? I mean, I have no I don't really, I didn't vote last election. I was flying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was flying. What am I going to vote? Like a lunatic? Get off a plane? Start running around? Um, I don't like polling stations. I'd love to, if I would vote in a restaurant, if at the end of the meal they were like, yeah. which one? I'd go, oh, okay. That's but, Yelp. Yeah, you I do, show you're up. I'm not going to go to uh, the Bronx to a polling station, <laughs> stand there in a gymnasium for an hour and a half, with, you know? Come on. Apparently, then you've never voted. I voted, that no, never I voted for, for Bush once and Obama once, and then I gave up because I'm like, it, none of it really matters. It's all kind of bullshit. And really, even today, you don't well, think any of you this know, matters. Listen, this one's a little different, I guess. <laughs> I mean, people yeah. seem to be a bit more emotional. He's This guy's really just kind of riffing up yeah. there. He doesn't, seem, you know, he doesn't seem to have a ton of prepared material, but... Here's what I love about... Yeah, but he's funny. That's yeah. the problem. He's funny. So I don't know. Here's what I love, though. For years, yeah. I mean, we would never have a New York president because people would think that New Yorkers were rude and, and assholes. And yeah. rightfully so. Yeah. Rightfully so. But then you guys in the South, you went and picked a guy that even we think is a rude asshole <laughs> con man. We were like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. He just destroyed a casino. Yeah. He, his fucking planes fell out of the air. Yeah. 
And you guys think he can run this dump? Yeah. No. He's, uh, you know, that's the funny thing about Austin. It's like liberal, but it's still Texas, so you never know where to go with this. Yeah. You never know how far he can go with this material, right. you know? Right. You're like, where, are we, where do we land here, well, you know? You know? They're liberal. <laughs> Austin is liberal until it gets to Jesus. And they're right. like, hey, hey. Right. Hey. 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 Christ. Died for our sins. And lived in Texas. Yeah. And owned a gun and yeah. was a pit master. Yeah. You got to go to Christ's Barbecue. It's a little stand right. in the middle of a field. It's, it isn't a bad area. It's a six-hour wait. You serve brisket in a coffee cup, and you eat it sitting on the ground like a pig. Welcome to our city. Yeah. Well, here's what I love about Texas. America looks at Texas like the rest of the world looks at America. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're like, are they cooler fucking creeps? We can't... We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. It seemed like... I and you're also afraid if you lived here, you'd become this and yes. nothing else. You'd right. be like, well, I should do this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt. You know what I mean? There's like a comfortability to it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, there's something cool about it. There's something cool about just saying... that, And that's what's kind of cool about Florida. Florida is... What's cool about Florida is like, Given up at 32. Right. You know, just yeah. somebody who's 33 years old going, fuck this. Well, fuck the game. I I went to fucking <laughs> uh, Florida at like age 21 because I'm like, I'm not fucking working. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. <laughs> I just, I'm not a sucker. I, I just headed down there and <laughs> literally started hosting wet t shirt contests. But that's the so American fucking dream. awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. And then people would bring their. Kids that were sick with cancer to those yeah. contests. Well, this is even before I got on the radio. I was just hosting. <laughs> Be like, it's always been Bobby's dream to see yeah. who, who by the wins. Way, if any of you uh, have kids that want to get in the wet t shirt game, um, yeah. here's the this fucking is Before you way, judge us, it's yeah. one of our sponsors yeah. at Gas Digital. So right. shut the fuck up. Uh, okay? Here, we here, can't only sell CBD. Here's, here's the way to win every wet t shirt contest. Come out and dance to You Shook Me All Night Long. Yeah. That's the fucking winning song. And the girls used to fight over it. Oh. They would fight to see who got that song. Because that song was worth $500 to their wet tits. Now, who... Oh. <laughs> what a strategy. Who, what was the next song? If they didn't get that, what would the next song be? Uh, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Yeah. Um, you had to have ACDC to win. Yeah, to win. In this you eight couldn't win with, audience. Uh, God bless America, yeah. Kate Smith. No, no. God bless America. Kate, the Kate Smith thing, you know, I was from Philadelphia originally. Yeah, what and happened? That, She's a big racist she now. She is a, uh, she was a racist 90 years ago. <laughs> but in the 70s, she was our good luck charm and yeah. won us two Stanley Cups. But let's be honest, nothing since. But what was yeah, great? Yeah, she's not good. If you listen to the music now, it sucks. Oh yeah, yeah, it's these are good. terrible songs. Like every woman yeah. then sounded like a uh, transgender person. Right. Yes. You it's had true. To be big yeah. and brassy. <laughs> <laughs> sounded like me, Ethel Merman. Her. <laughs> I'm a woman. It's American baseball, and I have a vagina. I don't think and that's the these... lyrics, but you got <laughs> it. it. Was. You got the Why sound read down. the songs? Yeah. They all sounded like that. They all sounded like they were on hormones for fucking six months. It is true. Um, it is true. Women have gotten more feminine because well, they were very masculine. Yeah, I mean, at one she point. had to, you know, have a plow and then go out and sing after. I yeah. mean, it was a very. She was Irish. I'm Irish, and Irish women yeah. age like cabbages. Like they uh, okay. are. Okay. They are very hard scrabble women. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's something that you have to look forward to, yeah, well, aging I, like a cabbage. Well, yeah. I mean, Irish ladies are... Uh, my, my grandmother had a maid named Terry. Terry yeah. was an Irish woman, real Irish. Like, all her kids had Dewey's, the other half were cops. And Terry just had varicose veins. She smoked cigarettes and ashed in a seashell. She was always bombed. She always called my grandmother when she got home and went, made it, and then just hung <laughs> up the phone... She was an Irish woman. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? An Made Irish it. lass. Yeah. Food yeah. was disgusting. Boiled meats and like oh. just filthy. I, I just love the made it. Oh, I yeah. I told you I could fucking drive drunk. <laughs> yeah. Made I it. made it without the seatbelt on. Yeah. She would literally, it would be the answering machine. And we'd go, beep, 
Skip. And then she'd go, Dottie, made it. Call me tomorrow. Right. Click. They but lived you know, on Long Island, so she'd show back up with a fucking basket of oysters. Yeah. She's, Hair. <laughs> beer and oysters. She'd show back up. She was an uh, interesting, uh, interesting lady. Dude, what do you feel about this new thing? We're like, we're looking back and going, well, that person was racist 70 years ago. We got to get rid of their shit. Like I think that's what happened recently with Michael Jackson. There was a documentary. Well, he was racist. There was a documentary where people said that he was racist, yeah. and now they're taking his music off the air. What do you feel about that? Maybe <laughs> if he would have fucked a couple black kids instead of all yeah, white, exactly. I could have got behind him. That's what I have said. Yeah. That's what I say. That documentary sucked. There was no music in it. I fast forwarded the whole fucking thing. There was a lot of talking. I watched it on mute. And I don't know what it is. It's making him look like he's a good person because he helped all these kids. Who gives a shit? We get it. He's a good guy, okay? <laughs> Where are the bitches? You know he fucked a lot of hoes. Where are they? But, but, There's not one bitch in that fucking thing. You know this guy was fucking hoes left and right. It's crazy. You've got a whole new spin on this, Tim, that I didn't... <laughs> I'm not hearing anywhere else, and... I'm not shocked that Red Eye is off the air after that. Let me... Uh, <laughs> we let would me, say things like that on Red Eye, and we would very seriously, like, the host would be like, that's a good point. <laughs> right. There was nothing you could say on Red There's Eye that would make do. them... Yeah. yeah. Now, the thing is with Michael Jackson, we all knew it. Everybody yes. said it then. Yes. Everyone said he's fucking those kids. Yes. But no one stopped him. Right. And the reason why everyone in the 80s was lazy. Yeah. I think that was it. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But it's an extreme there, amount of laziness. There's not a single person shocked. About this, no story. one's really surprised about. Yeah. It. There are truthers out there, the Jackson truthers. That, What's that? What do they say? Well, they believe that this is an elaborate. Like, is there anyone here? By round of applause, and we won't. We're not gonna, you know, you know, whatever. But do you? There's is there anyone we that, could thinks, do. that thinks he could be innocent? And it's like a setup. Okay. Okay. Is there one uh, person who's like, Mike did not do this? Mike is all right. So I'm okay. seeing. This guy. Yeah. Wait, this guy. Guy. Right here. Yeah, this guy. This guy. Yeah, he just winked at me like I think so. I don't want to say yeah. anything. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> but, you know, I, so we all knew it. So why didn't we care then, Tim? I, I don't know? know. I mean, yeah, it's a great point. I wasn't a lot. I was a young kid Ready. who was trying to be an actor, trying to fuck people, right. trying to fuck <laughs> directors, and nobody, I was on Sesame Street. Elmo didn't fuck me. Nobody fucked me who should have. And if you look at a photo of me back then, you'll be like, these people were crazy. You were a cute kid. My, my, I peaked from seven to seven and a half. I was a fucking treat. And then at eight, it started to head in a Florida direction. Okay. And very solidly. It but headed had... in a mortgage broker direction around nine. Like you look and you go, oh, that guy's going to sell houses to old people. But... You had six beautiful months. I had just... six months. No, I really, I had, uh, you know, but, you know, I was untouched, thank God. That's why I'm broke, and, you know. That's why you're broke, because you never had the chance to sue the church. Because I've never had this. Yeah. I'm starting to what about speak the... Dylan. Yeah. I'm starting to figure out where the his head's at. Yeah, it. the church is a yeah. big thing. No one stops that. You talk about Michael Jackson. What about right. the church? Well, you know, Jesus. I got gotcha. you. Know, That's I mean, a fair point. It's know, a good point. Uh, is Chris Stanley here? Chris, could I get a, a rainwater? I'm out of rainwater. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the untalented yeah. Tim Dillon, the Chris great. Stanley is here tonight. Yeah. Our surprise guest is Latoya Jackson. So whenever wow. she gets here to defend her brother. I believe that at a certain point, uh, he became... Latoya. Yeah, well, that's a I, lot of people say that. You've never really seen them yeah. both in the same room at the same time. Um, Those kids might have. Yeah. But. but remember, Janet is the one who was out because she showed nipple. Yeah, she did. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Stanley. Yeah, Here he is. There Chris, you go, buddy. turn around and wave there to everybody. Hey, look how thin he's got. Come here. Look how thin Chris, he's got. Come back here. Look how thin he's got. Look how thin he's got. This could be fun. 
for the rest of the show, he runs in place. Why? Yeah, he's so thin. We are on the air. You just run in place. Yeah. There he goes. There he goes. So, Look at that. He looks great. Yeah. I, I want the knees to hit the hands. Yeah. I really want you to go for it here. You're running like someone that was in a car accident. <laughs> You're running like my aunt who's at physical therapy. And I was just, you know, yeah, there you go. No, there you go. Now it's better. Too much. Now, it's good. now it's good. Now it's distracting. We got to be uh, careful in this Texas heat. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm doing a, a show uh, later tonight. Yes. Please plug, plug it. What is my uh, show? What is, what is Ron's show? Chris. Ron Bennington crowdsourced it and tones at 9 p.m. Yeah. Thank you. Great. How cool is that? It's a format that I thought of and then never once tried. What, what is the format? I don't know. I thought that I could, because there was a lot going on, I thought maybe I could bring this whole country together sure. by figuring out where all of our opinions are. But literally, just like school, did no work on it. Yeah. And, Sometimes uh, those are the best things. That's how Yes. Look at Trump. This is what he did. And he's right. now, you know, killing it. Well, you gotta, he's <laughs> killing it. He is. He's, he's now, killing he, it. Uh, Chris, you can In a very literal sense. I was only kidding about that. This kid's unbelievable. Chris I want to do what? How long was that? Three minutes? Yeah. Was that three minutes? That's my fitness goal right there. That's amazing. I'm like, this guy. He, this guy uh, got off the plane today, went straight to the gym. But you he's, look angry now. This is what's yes, great. You, you look, true. no, listen, underneath. Is roiling rage. You are you are gonna kill a person, but you know you're gonna what? look great doing. You're I, gonna strangle a woman in a hotel room, but you're gonna look phenomenal while you do it. We've all done that, Tim. Yeah, it's but, called love. Yeah. Now but, I just figured yeah. out that's not Chris Stanley. That's Vito. Vito, everybody. Yeah. Now, I was just about to say. I thought yeah. it was interchangeable. You yeah. just used whatever name. Uh, Vito is a greasy Italian. Yeah. And his family kills other people for money. Is that how it works out? Yeah. So he was born and raised uh, Italian in New York. And I don't know whether you ever saw The Godfather. I have. Uh, but his mom was in The Godfather. Really? Yeah. That's fucking she was My the, mom was a mermaid. Yeah. This is a, Everybody's mom was cool. But your mom wasn't the point, a you know? real mermaid. Listen, I can believe. What was your mom in The Godfather? Hold on, into the microphone yeah, while you lie. Yeah, to, to, yeah, that was right where I lived, Jones yeah. Beach, Long yeah, Island. That, that was my mom. It what? In the when you, the turnstile. Oh, the, gun. the one yeah. who shut the thing yeah. and dropped. Yeah. Wow, that I thought was, that was a dude. No, that was my mom. She was. I am sorry. Italian, I haven't seen it in a while, but that's what we mean. About Italian the, women look the like masculine dudes. Masculine women. Yes. She sang as she dropped. Yeah. No. Good lady, she's a little hairier right. than normal. Yeah, there's easy, nothing dude. wrong with that. Easy. Listen, don't fucking chest up, all right? Leave that shit back home. She's a good woman. <laughs> she's right? a good lady. Hey, look, you gotta fold the fucking pizza to eat it the right way. <laughs> we get it, John Travolta. You're fucking practicing for a dance contest. All right, you're on edge right now. Still wears the white suit wherever he goes at night. Do you really? Yeah, I like that. I like that. White skin, maybe a shark right, skin suit. Okay. Easy, yeah. man. This isn't your show. <laughs> All right? Okay? He's so, I love how aggressive he is. This is what happens. You stop eating carbohydrates. Everything's an intense thing. Right. I wear a white shirt every day. Every day. Yeah. It's like, have a fucking frozen yogurt. Here's what he has. He has 42 meatballs for fucking breakfast. Yeah, right. And spends the rest of his day doing Goomba sit-ups. Dude, we all have guns here, so fucking, it ain't just you, Goomba. all right? <laughs> Goomba, Goomba. There's <laughs> Chris's, that's yeah. great. Just Vito's yeah. workout video. Uh, Goomba like sit ass. Well, thanks, bud. Go take a fucking You're seat and leave Tim alone. What is your. Uh, yeah. It's still light out. This will be light forever. That's what's great about Austin. It'll be light till well, midnight tonight. What is, what is this, like in Alaska? What's happening here? Yeah, I don't know. What I, don't I, I would like know? a little night. I'm trying to make these people laugh. It's like, it feels like a graduation. <laughs> Fucking weird University Believe of me. Texas, Austin bullshit. <laughs> graduation. Some, Why somebody is it bullshit? getting a degree. Because they get degrees in like <laughs> agriculture and all this horse shit. Stop it. You know, it's true. Fucking Longhorn. Jerking off it's or whatever it is. 
That's a giant tactical. It's fucking genius. College is for losers. Period. Fuck you and pay your student loans. No forgiveness. Burn in hell By the way, for the rest of your life because you got a degree in English, you fucking loser. Burn in hell for the rest of your life. I didn't do a student loan. I took out a subprime mortgage because I'm fucking cool. <laughs> that was my fucking loan. I learned a lot. Yeah, that's an education, no doubt about it. Straight up. Dude, I have a, an intern that she is in college for communications, right? Yeah. Which is, Basically, radio or TV. Right. The, the same thing. The, that the, I, the mediums that are on the rise. Right. And <laughs> yeah, could there be less of a? This poor thing is going to fucking owe three hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Cause she's fucking stupid. Right. And I don't feel bad for her, cause she wants to be Wendy Williams, and she's going to pay four hundred grand to figure out that no one gives a shit. Right. Well, if you had kids, you do. But yes. if you had them now, <laughs> participate in this pretend life that does exist for you. I have outside kids. If you had kids now. I got a six-month-old Puerto Rican that I'm fucking taking care of on the other side of town. Uh, we get it. You're, you're a hero. Thank but you. if you, Austin, that's, all I like, wanna, that's nice. That's all I want to do is be appreciated. What right. would you tell them? What's the major? What's the move in life? Dude, you don't know because this right. shit changes so fucking fast. Right. You know? Everything you can't, you can't get a kid prepared for the future. What are you going to say? Take up robotics? No one knows what's going to happen. That's a great point. You know what I mean? I'm lucky that I'm the last person who will live a full life without there being Terminators or fucking Martians. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm going to fight as long as I die by any hand other than a robot. I'm going to feel like I beat the game. I beat the fucking game because I wasn't a slave to them. And you know what? Here's what kills me about robots. We fucking knew it since the 1890s, right? Jules Verne fucking would write... Th there weren't even any machines. And he was like, robots are fucking scary. You know what I mean? He just knew in the back. <laughs> and no, every movie since then goes, the robots are going to turn on you, yet these fuckers still keep making AIs. Yeah, they don't you know? care because they want us gone. They want to get rid of us. And Who's they want that? The people at the uh, top. The people at the top. You keep trying to get me to fucking say shit, okay? This ain't Red Eye. Red Eye goes away. This stays. a podcast. People bring it up in three months. The other great thing about Red Eye is on at 3 a.m. There were no records of it. You can't find it. Right. Well, find Red Eye. You can't. Yeah. Say whatever you want on it. So what are you saying? Who's behind these robots? No, the it's, a, it's a group. Is no, it it's, the not Jews? The, it's not the Jews because it's, it's a group of people. Cancel it's this a group of podcast. very wealthy people yeah. that may or may not be lizards right? that fucking control a lot of different things. That's oh, you it. were done. That was, that's well, it. I thought that that's was the start it. of a rant. No, that's it. Yeah. They're the controllers, and they right. control. All right. So we're against them? They haven't offered me anything. I don't know right. if I'm with them or against. I don't know where I am. I but, can't afford to, you know, not have opportunities. Right. You need to serve the fucking Yeah, from overlords. what I've learned from yeah. my... I didn't take I student loans. I watched InfoWars. And what I got from... Thank you, Austin, for your leadership. Yeah. And what I understand... <laughs> What I understand from that is that there are demons right. that are coming to get us. And I don't know how and when, but it's going right. to happen, and they have the machines. And I think a lot of those yeah. kids shot in the schools were faking it. And uh, I can't listen, prove it. Isn't I, I, that how the I show wish goes? I, I wish I could have gotten that gig as a kid. Yeah. I was an idiot at Sesame Street. <laughs> I would have killed that fucking fake shooting gig. I will tell you the truth. In, in my the last five minutes, we just got as offensive as possible. <laughs> If you don't yeah. realize what's going on, we just go down the list of <laughs> sacred cows and slaughter them. Literally, when I was uh, a fucking kid in high school, uh, because we had had a couple race fights, you know. Yeah. Uh, was on it Polish it, versus no, the, no. Okay. And on uh, <laughs> and on Fridays, I always plan these keg parties during school right. for everybody to come in and give fucking couple bucks and you know make a little money for me. And I would just call the fucking local paper, and I go, I hear Friday there's going to be a race for it to school. Uh, I hope. It's going to be fucking bloody. Watch out for it. And they would write it up, and then they would cancel school that day. 
and we were all free to enjoy our fucking youth. Wow. With not now only, it's so fucked up. You do it now, people yeah, show up. Right. Yeah. But not only beer, but plenty of PCP for the kids that like angel dust. All right? And I also sold this fucking PCP powder and called it THC and go like this. It's the best part of weed. You're going to enjoy this. <laughs> Kids have got to be free to enjoy themselves. That's what I'm saying when you're yeah, younger. Fuck the student loans. Yeah. Let them be free. Let them be free. Plug away, sir. Well, uh, tonight, um, I think the, the show I'm doing is Source Code. I don't know the name of it. Crowdsource, thank you very yeah. much. We're at, uh, you guys are all coming, right? You're coming to this show yeah. tonight. Great. And bring the energy that you had here. A yes. real six out of ten. No, we're going to... Bring that, bring that parent-teacher conference energy you showed up to fucking this thing with. That win-me-over energy that we you know, fucking are working up here, I, pulling I, every anecdote we've ever fucking had. Jesus Christ. Tim, you brought things out of me that no one else did. I mean, well, you're, I, you're the next Ron Bennington. You really are. I pray, yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. Give it up for Ron Bennington, everybody. Serious XM. Thank you guys for coming out. Have a good night. Fuck 